So typical sharpening his claws, stretching, leaving his scent there as well, as well as sharp, uh, stretching those tendons inside of the sheath. Hello, my boy. <laughs> a bit of a limp on his front left paw. Alright, he's just gone behind the vehicle. Alright, I'm just going to turn quickly around here. Yeah. Alright, I'm just going to turn, just going to wait for him to move away. Alright. Mm -hmm. Right there, Panda. Alright, so he's going back into Juma. So I thought he's not really going to try and move too far south. There we go. Too far north, my apologies. I always get excited when I see a leopard. It's my favorite animal. I love them to bits. Look at him, even his ears is dropping. Sometimes when they drop the ears like that, something's happened, something has played out here. Yeah, welcome back everybody and it paid off driving off into the bushes these lions have become quite active and they've jumped on a fallen over tree and been very very playful with one another this is amazing oh just it's almost like when i was a kid I, oh <laughs> The lion just fell off there and when I was a kid we used to play king of the castle in the swimming pool where whoever's on top of the stairs tries to throw the others off and stay on top and this lion on the left hand side is looking very very happy that it's the highest on this branch. Amazing to see them finally active after spending over an hour with them. Linda Poli, it is Thursday. I mean, lions, leopards, and cheetah. What more could you ask for on a Thursday or Thursday sunset safari? Amazing. Fantastic. When lions are active like this and very playful, it can also keep you entertained for hours. There's quite a lot of dead wood on the, the tree. Dusties, it is incredible to see them at play. <laughs> <laughs> very, very playful this after this evening. The time, oh my goodness, what are these guys about to do? Look at you doing stalking. It's watching something. Oh, there's the little youngster's got a, a trophy. It looked like a warthog skull. We'll give it this closer. There is maybe a little bit of blood or a bit of flesh on it. So, for those who may not enjoy this, I will warn you that you might be seeing a little bit. But this is awesome. Look at her. Her sister sneaking up on her like that. Now, this is good skills. This is skills that they need, you know? <laughs> Yo. Is how she just disappeared. She's lying behind that piece of grass, but you can't see her. Yes, Kimberly, indeed they do. They were, <laughs> they were definitely. Now she's been tag teamed. We've got two of, this is, oh, so these are all three of the sub adults. The smallest one is the one walking at the back. She's about to leave the screen. The two biggest ones are the ones, the one facing us and the one now sitting down.
We've got two leopards, we've got two leopards. View discretion, view discretion. They just got a leopard, I mean, uh, two male leopards. We've got two male leopards here. We've got two male leopards here. We've got tortoise pan that caught the, the warthog and another male leopard came running in. Oh my goodness, two male leopards. So it's more white here. So yeah, and remember what I told you everybody? So thanks Raz, I couldn't see you, it was happened so quickly. So Mawati and Tortoise Pan together, yeah? And uh, clearly Mawati has decided to take over. Oh, look at this, look at that. There's, there's Tortoise Pan walking at the background now. There's Tortoise Pan. Oh, now, now it's a problem. Look at these two male leopards, they might even fight here. Yeah? Uh, oh, oh! <laughs> This is the most amazing sighting I've seen. Here comes Tortoise Pan in now. You hear them growling. You can see these two males are sussing each other out. They are moving that way now. I'm just gonna have to. It's gonna, it's, I'm just gonna try and keep them. Oh, they're running. They're running. They left the water gear. Let's run. They're running. I'm just gonna switch off here now. You can see you're watching. So this is exactly where the water was. Right here. In front of us. So now he's gonna try and sniff it out now to see where did. Well, maybe more whitey came back, stole the kill, and stashed it away somewhere. Oh, I don't think I see you. Using the sense of smell. Alright, I've got a feeling he's, he, he took it that way. And now, we, you see where Tortoise Pan is heading? You'll see now, see that uh, hole, that's where the water came out. So they're on the, on the termite mound there, exactly where Tortoise Pan's going in now. That's where the water came running out, and that's where he grabbed it. So he's going to just double check if there maybe still another water in there. Because there was like, how many came running out? Two, three, about three, three water dogs came running out there. Uh, I think Mulwati has stolen the other one. Sorry, my boy. Oh, I do feel bad for you, my man. But that is uh, how it goes, huh?